Welcome to Morning Prayer for Friday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time. Morning Prayer is a daily part of the Liturgy of the Hours, the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Lord, you will accept the true sacrifice offered on your altar. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly, I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? That you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing in gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sin, turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor, sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise, for in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled, contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness, show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Father, He who knew no sin was made sin for us, to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit, and heal our troubled conscience, so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit 
we may proclaim your praise and glory before all the nations. You will accept the true sacrifice offered on your altar. All the descendants of Israel will glory in the Lord's gift of victory. Truly with you, God is hidden, the God of Israel, the Savior. Those are put to shame and disgrace who vent their anger against him. Those go in disgrace who carve images. Israel, you are saved by the Lord, saved forever. You shall never be put to shame or disgrace in future ages. For thus says the Lord, the Creator of the heavens, who is God, the Designer and Maker of the earth who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I have not spoken from hiding, nor from some dark place of the earth. And I have not said to the descendants of Jacob, Look for me in an empty waste. I, the Lord, promise justice. I foretell what is right. Come and assemble. Gather together, you fugitives from among the Gentiles. They are without knowledge who bear wooden idols and pray to gods that cannot save. Come here and declare in council together, who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from of old. Was it not I, the Lord, beside whom there is no other God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth. For I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unalterable word. To me every knee shall bend, by me, every tongue shall swear, saying, Only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him, in shame, shall come all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. All the descendants of Israel will glory in the Lord's gift of victory. Let us go into God's presence, singing for joy. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love, he is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. With joy and gladness we cry out to you, Lord, and ask you, open our hearts to sing your praises and announce your goodness and truth. Let us go into God's presence, singing for joy. Never let evil talk pass your lips. Say only the good things men need to hear, things that will really help them. Do nothing that will sadden the Holy Spirit with whom you were sealed against the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, all passion and anger, harsh words, slander, and malice of every kind. In place of these, be kind to one another, compassionate and mutually forgiving, just as God has forgiven you in Christ.
The Lord has come to his people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. The Lord has come to his people and set them free. Through his cross, the Lord Jesus brought salvation to the human race. We adore him, and in faith we call out to him, Lord, pour out your mercy upon us. Christ, rising sun, warm us with your rays and restrain in us every evil impulse. Keep guard over our thoughts, words, and actions, and make us pleasing in your sight this day. Turn your gaze from our sinfulness and cleanse us from our iniquities. Through your cross and resurrection, fill us with the consolation of the Spirit. Lord, pour out your mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, you conquer the darkness of ignorance by the light of your word. Strengthen within our hearts the faith you have given us. Let not temptation ever quench the fire that your love has kindled within us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This has been Morning Prayer for Friday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time. Morning Prayer is produced in Dallas, Texas and brought to you by the Confraternity of Penitents. Sacred music is provided by the Benedictines of Mary and Matthew Curtis of Choral Tracks. I'm David Rollins. Join us again weekdays as we continue to pray the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God, the Liturgy of the Hours, 